Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising again. Today I'm actually making a video to answer somebody's questions who emailed me and so I'm, I'm just doing this video for that person so I hope you're watching and if anybody else finds it helpful, great. So the first question they, they asked me was, they apparently were told by a doctor actually that drinking water from a Kangen machine is, well one, th that it's better apparently and that it's bad to drink too much hydrogen water, which is the reason that in nature you don't find super high levels of hydrogen. Let me actually tell you the truth and the actual science behind this. The doctor's wrong. Um, first of all, it's incredibly hard to overdose on hydrogen. And even if you tried, you couldn't. They've had studies about it and you cannot overdose on it. If you get too much hydrogen, which is really kind of tough to do, your body simply breathes it out. It's crazy safe. That's the first thing. Second of all, drinking water from the Kangen machine is not better for you when compared to the Lourdes. Now this person specifically as versus the Lourdes and, and from what I have found on all the research, Lourdes seems to be the best way, cleanest way, safest way to consume hydrogen because there are ways that are not very good for you, believe it or not. So they were stating that how much hydrogen does the Lourdes make, or I'm sorry, the Kangen makes around 0 0.1, 0 0.2, you'd probably be lucky to get 0 0.3. One of the things that they had stated in their question was that in nature, you don't see levels above you know, 0 0.5, and that's true. Typically, the levels are about 0 0.3 and lower also, but here's the thing. Now, nobody really knows this answer. This is just kind of a theory of mine. You could say, well, in nature, you know, the water doesn't make so much hydrogen, so you shouldn't consume it. Well, we don't know because in a lot of ways, we've done a lot of things as humans to damage nature. I don't even think that oxygen levels are correct currently in the atmosphere, probably because of all the trees we've cut down, you know, the massive deforestation, and it's affected our oxygen levels. I don't know how many of you know about that. Now, I don't know what else we've done to affect hydrogen levels. Who knows? What I can tell you is the science. And the science in Japan has shown that the super effective number is 1.0 ppm to consume. Now, if you go to 1.2, that's great. If you go to 1.5, that's great. You're safe. Now, you don't have to go all crazy and try to be consuming 4 and 5 ppm levels because it actually reaches a point where it's just kind of pointless. The body can only utilize so much of it, which is one of the reasons that I tell people, try to drink some hydrogen water, even if it's a small glass, every four hours, because the science shows that every four hours is when it really starts to dissipate in the system, and then you want to reintroduce it. I hope that answers the question. Um, the Kangen, well, I guess maybe it didn't completely, because the Kangen machine, drinking water from that machine, the reason it's not good is actually because one, in order to make the higher hydrogen level water from a Kangen, the water is not only electrolyzed, which I've talked about saying it's not good for you to drink electrolyzed water, specifically when it's really alkaline. Really alkaline water has now been shown in Japan in scientific studies that it's not good for you in the long term. If you drink it once or twice, it's not a big deal but it actually disrupts digestion. You need the acid in your stomach to actually break down food and kill bacteria. You need it. When you drink alkaline water, it disrupts that and it begins to cause digestive problems. You can maybe get some bacteria that was in your food and get into your intestinal tract. Bad things happen. It is not good to drink this crazy alkaline water all day long. I know right now it's a really big fad, but the US is way behind when it comes to these things and eventually they'll find out. In Japan, it used to be the way that it currently is. They figured it out and the whole alkaline water craze is gone. So let's go to the next question. The next question is about, um, okay, so the Lourdes is actually made in Korea. And this person's saying, well, doesn't Japan make their own hydrogen machines? They do. The problem is, is that the guy who actually invented the technology that they use with the Lourdes, the, it, it's really innovative, it's really creative, it's really simple, and it's quite, it's perfect the way that it works. They patented that, so the Japanese couldn't copy that design. So they were only able to make all these other designs which ultimately are not as good. So the Japanese have the research. The Japanese figured out that hydrogen was the way and that it's a really uh, excellent thing for your health, but it was the Koreans that figured out that particular design and that happens with a lot of things, you know And so in the end 
that's why they make them in Korea. Korea is actually making a lot of good products these days. You know, they're you know back in the day, Japan used to make a lot of garbage products, and then you know Korea's done that. China is obviously probably still doing that, but in the end, uh, Korea's doing pretty good. You know, they're making really nice cars too with the Hyundai's and and uh, the hydrogen machines. You know, they do a good job, and so I hope that answers the question. I mean, yes, Japan makes other machines, and I've looked at them, and they don't have anything that is as good as the Lord is at this time. But I'm always keeping my eye out, so I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, next question. Um, can I put Kang in water in the Lourdes? The instructions in the Lourdes uh, manual specifically say do not use electrolyzed water. So I would say that the answer is no. So I hope that answers that question pretty simple. I think you shouldn't use it. I, I, I wouldn't think you should use that. And the last one is how long does the hydrogen stay in the Kang in water versus the Lourdes water? Well, this is a very difficult question to ask because there is no specific number because it's it, it varies. It varies on the temperature of the water. You know, it varies on the movement of the water. I've heard of people putting uh, the Lourdes water in the refrigerator and like 12 hours later, it still has like 80% of the hydrogen. And so there's a lot of factors, but if you put them all, if you put both glasses with Kangen water or Lourdes water and you measure the time lapse, I would guesstimate that the Kangen water is probably going to stay there maybe 20 minutes if you're lucky, you know, maybe 10 minutes. And the Lourdes water is going to stay there for, depending on, again, a lot of factors. It's going to be hours. Um, it, it'll probably stay in there for four hours. But again, the levels are really important because you're going to have much higher levels in the Lourdes as compared to the Kangen water. So they're going to both start dropping, but you're going to have hydrogen in the, in the Lourdes machine for a much longer period of time. And it's also going to stay in there longer because the Kangen machine does not make nano bubbles. The Lourdes machine makes nano bubbles. This is really important. This is one of the reasons, the way that it's structured, that the hydrogen stays in the water for the amount of time that it does with the Lourdes. And also makes it more viable for your body when you take it in. So I hope this answers all your questions. And, uh, and I hope to help out other people who may have had those questions. And don't forget to subscribe again if you guys haven't and, and you like the uh, channel and you like what I'm bringing you. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, which always helps the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. And if anybody has any more questions, feel free to email me. And uh, let's see, the email is uprising144k at gmail.com. All right, thanks guys. Take care.